So hopefully you've enjoyed the first part of A Bad Road for Cats by Cynthia Ryland. Um, so what we're going to do now is if you can get out your attribute web, um, it looks like this. Um, I've given you one in class. If you do not have it or you're working from home, solely from home, it is attached on an Office 365 document. So you can kind of fill it out with me, okay? Um, so I have gone through here and I was looking for um, different parts of uh, characterization that I could find for Magda. So... Um, I have highlighted some of those and we're going to look at through at some of these. Um, here I highlighted her eyes snapped black and fiery as he spit the question at him. Uh, the woman's eyes pinched his. She marched toward the door. I'll be back, she said like a threat. She was a very tall woman and skinny. Her black hair was long and shiny like an Indian. So this gives us an idea of what she looks like. That she was French. Uh, it says here Magna was not old, but she carried herself as a very old and strong person might. So she's strong. She has no fear of death and she has a clear sense of her right to the earth. And she has a disdain for the ugliness of belching machines and concrete. So she really does not like um, road noise, okay? We know she misses Lewis, okay? Um, her eyes drilled that question, whose kitten is this, okay? Magda's face blazed as she turned and stalked out the door with the kitten. So we get a little bit of idea of what type of personality she has. Here's another example, coffee she ordered, okay? Um, and so those things are going to help me to fill out the character or attribute web for Magda. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Magda's name in here. So that's her name. Um, some things that she says. Well, she says, and I'm going to put some quotes in here. Maybe. Let's make this text box a little bit bigger. So if you need to enlarge the text box here, you can do that. Um, I'll be back. And this was like a threat. Okay, uh, let me see if I can find another quote here. Maybe the coffee she ordered. Yes, yeah, so let's just go ahead and put that quote in there. Coffee. So then, let's see, thinks. So there's a lot of things that Magda thinks here in that first part of this story. She definitely thinks She does not like road noise or pollution. Okay, we know that from some of the things that she's said. We know that she thinks cats are superior to dogs based on her conversation there in the first half of that passage. All right, so then let's do actions next. Some of her actions. She's very sharp with others. She doesn't, um, she kind of barks at them. She's curt, okay, with them. So you can say that she's curt. Maybe you would call it um, impolite. Okay. 
she looks, we have lots of information on her looks here, and I highlighted a lot of that in that passage. It tells us that she is tall. Skinny. She's got black hair. Um, but she looks Indian, but is French. And She's got black eyes, they're so dark that they're black, okay? All right, so then effect on others. What effect does Magda have on others? Well, the young man that she was speaking to straightens up. So she demands respect from others, okay? So that's kind of the effect that she gets that, you know, it says that the young man straightens up that she was speaking to um, because she was very demanding with him. Um, so that's another thing you could put over here, demanding. She is very demanding, okay? So the whole purpose of filling this character map out is because this is gonna give us a better idea of what Magda was like at the beginning of the story. So that when we go to read the rest of the story and see if she changes, um, it's gonna help us to see that change and maybe what caused the change, okay? So if you didn't get a chance to fill the character map out so that you have, you wanna put, you know, you can put exactly what I have in here. You don't have to put exactly what I have. You can put, you know, something similar, but make sure that you are pulling it from the text. If you have to go back to, um, you know, look at the text, um, that's what you want to do because you're going to be doing this on your own on Thursday and Friday with a different text. So that's why we're doing it together today so that when you go to do it on your own, um, you'll know what to do and what steps to take. Okay. All right. So again, um, you're just filling this out along with me. So I'll see you shortly.